All right, so we're over here at good old Solar Ham, and we're looking at the stereo head camera, which is back finally. And you can see it here, that's the earth-facing coronal hole. A couple sunspots are going to be coming over the limb in the next couple days. And then a coronal hole looks like it extends up to the equator. And here we can watch the globe spin around. That's earth-facing, and that's the backside. So scrolling down, stereo head core 2. I said, ooh, that looks interesting. So let's uh, head on over to the stereo website. And here you can see the date on the bottom. So this was September 8th. And then it's going to go into the latest images uh, some today, September 9th. And it's one second per frame. And you can see the times jump all over the place. So let's just confirm that that was Venus. You have the stereo planet finder. And you can see they have it labeled as Venus. So now we'll take a look at where Stereo Ahead is supposedly located. So you can see that Venus is clear on the other side of the sun. So it's not, you know, passing between the camera and the sun. It's the sun is between the camera and Venus. So let me rotate this so we'll get the uh, this picture from the camera, the satellite point of view. So according to this chart, Venus should be directly behind the sun. So this must not be updated correctly to... It doesn't reflect what we're seeing in the images. You know, Venus is off to the left of the sun. So I, this, this doesn't exactly make sense, but it gives you the general picture of what we're looking at here. All right, so here it is zoomed in, and it's 20 pictures over the last uh, two days. And you can see it comes and goes, but it gets uh, generally stronger this last day, the last 24 hours. And remember, it is... Venus is relatively close to Earth in its orbit, and we're experiencing uh, storm conditions right now, southward BZ, and there was strong density and speed from a coronal hole last couple days, so Venus would have been encountering the same stuff that we were, and hence uh, flaring up a little bit, more so than normal. And again, remember, this is on the other side of the sun, so this is extremely bright, in my opinion. Yeah, Electric Universe, gotta love it. Thanks for watching.